Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode 196. We are going to start off this video with a bang, and that is we're going to open a throwback pack to celebrate this throwback ring domination, and hopefully this is a great sign for a new tier or a new update, and maybe a flash RTG. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to open a throwback pack, hopefully we get a WrestleMania Booker T, and if not, we're just going to get a hardened Booker T. Because um, I'm pretty sure he does have a hardened throwback as well. Would he, would, does he seriously have a hardened one as well? Or is that not Booker T? I don't even know. Anyway, let's get into this guys. I am also right now live streaming on Twitch, so big, big shout out to everyone who's watching on the stream. If you're watching this as a video tomorrow, or when I upload it, if, if I upload it later on tonight, let me know in the comments. Three, two, one. Come on. There's no WrestleMania. There is no WrestleMania. It's Elite Triple H. That is awful. SummerSlam Mark Henry. And WrestleMania Eddie Guerrero. Okay. Alright, let's see. Calling Mickey James. Hardened Hall of Fame. Oh, it's Hardened Hall of Fame. It's an elite. It's an elite. Yeah, an elite Triple H. Not great, is it? Not great. So yeah, that's 4,400 credits on an elite Triple H that I didn't need. Thank you guys for watching this part. I'll be right back with some ring domination and some background. See you in a bit. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 195. This is a couple days later, but a day later and something. I'm not too sure. It's quite late at night. I've just been at work. I'm home. Decided to go for a little walk. And you know what? I'm going to explain that story to you guys because it's quite a funny story. Um, while we're playing a couple games of Ringdom, but before we do any of that, we have got something to claim, and that is a Battleground Reward. Good Battleground Champions Pack. Platinum Pack. So let's go ahead and claim this. Give me someone good. You know, we're looking for the John Cena's, the Roman Reigns. Uh, and then just a pro, you know, a pro. Uh, Miz would be pretty cool, that way I don't have to be fucked with doing uh, Team RTG because I just can't be bothered to do that. And I don't think many people in the team will want to do it, so yeah, that's why That's why I need a pro Miz, because I still need a pro of him. Anyway, claim these rewards, let's see who we get. Boom! Ugh. Great, alright, useless. Elite Randy Olsen, battle points, who do we get in our last card? Almost, getting close to that 50k, aren't we? And an ultimate Shinsuke Nakamura. All right, not too bad, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing worthy of proing or or me getting happy with. We want a new tier. It's what we want. Let's get into uh, let's get into a game of, of ring domination. So we are on the rock. We've got one day and three hours. One day and four hours left. Hopefully, going to be able to go back right to the beginning to a legendary Undertaker and try and get him for the picture because it'd be it look it'd look pretty cool on um his WrestleMania one. So that's what I'm going to try and do. We'll see if we if we have time. If we don't have time, then you know I'll always have a uh, an opportunity to get him later on down the line. Let's get in, let's get into a game and let's go through a little a little story story time with uh with me. Uh, so yeah. Now I got back from work and all of a sudden we're like, let's go um, looking for mushrooms. Um, so yeah, because I live in the mountains, I live in Switzerland, great places to look for mushrooms. Um, so yeah, go on a, you know, go on like a 15 minute drive, get up high enough in the mountains and we start going for a walk. Remember this is, this is 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, complete dark outside. Or, you know, not even like, it's not even full moon here, so we don't, there's no good light from the moon either. So pretty much pitch black, have a couple lights on our phone, going through this forest, and, um, yeah, the next thing I know, I went with my brother and two of his friends, and the next thing I know, my brother is screaming out in pain. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? I look down, he's like, he's like, like taking off his shoe and stuff, and I thought like a stick had just gone through his foot. No, it was a wasp! You might be saying, a wasp. Everyone's gotten stung by a wasp before. Um, next thing I know, uh, once I've figured out he got stung by a wasp, next thing that happens, I get stung by a wasp. In the exact same place, on my ankle, just below the sock. Um, the wasp might have probably like, got in there, and I probably like couldn't get out or something, and then obviously just stung, panic. Um, so that wasn't fun. And then I got stung right after that, for the second time on my knee. 
and then about 30 seconds later I got stung for the third time right here. Probably can't see anything, literally you can't see anything with the camera, but yeah, three three times and that was it. We go back to the car, um, cross this field with cows in on a massive slope, this is up in the mountain remember. Um, and there's an electric fence for the cows not to obviously, you know, to keep the cows in. Uh, with probably very high voltage and my brother puts his foot on top of the wire to let me go over and I'm like oh cheers the car was right next to us and I'm like oh, I'll do the same thing didn't say it but I was like I'm just do the same thing didn't think about it put my foot on the wire lost balance fell wire <laughs> just popped back up onto my like um uh, what is it called but like my leg but like the back of my leg oh. So after rolling in the grass for about 10 minutes, literally my leg, I could, my leg was, it was like rock hard. Well, it felt rock hard. It was like, it felt so heavy. I couldn't walk. It was so, so painful. On top of that, my three wasp stings. It was like, oh God, it was, it was an adventure. Now, I'm sorry if that story bored half of you to death, but yeah, it might have been, it's, it's funny now, even though it happened literally about two hours ago, it's still quite funny. It's already funny, I mean, looking back on it. It's one of those things that I'll be like, hey, remember that day when, when you know, for the first time in weeks I actually decided to do any sports and exercise? <laughs> I literally die, <laughs> or almost die. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that was uh, that's that's how my day went. How did your guys' day go? Let me know down in the comments. We've just won this game of Ring Dom. Let's collect some shards. Hopefully we'll get one, uh, get some picks, and hopefully get a shard. Yep, we're guaranteed to get one here, so that's good. Let's go with these little two little ones here. My my worst enemies. There we go, we got one. <laughs> we got one. I always like getting these ones first, because I, I really don't like the small shards. It's always fun of getting a big shard, isn't it? Uh, it's like, you know, eating your veggies first when on a plate, and then leaving the best thing to all us. That, that, you know, you people have loads of techniques, different techniques, but... Yeah. Not that I eat any veg anymore, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, right, let's go into one more game, you know, we haven't haven't done many videos recently and I feel bad for the lack of content I've been uploading on my channel. It's been really hectic just with work and and binge watching Breaking Bad again, <laughs> um, you know, and playing some Battlegrounds, which is just, just got, and it's quite a fun game and I've just played a little bit of that, but I literally haven't even had time to play more than an hour of that. Um, just work, you know, work's been kicking the shit out of me recently, I can't complain, you know. Earning, earning the, earning the the dough, and it's it's always a good feeling, and it's always you know it's a good thing to do. But obviously, I have less time to to stream or or stuff like that. I will obviously, you know, maybe because I'm not into it recently either. Not the YouTube or the streaming. I'm always into that. Maybe I'm just not into into Supercard as much recently as obviously when the hype of a new tier or or something new in the game's been getting very stale. You know, I've been repeating this for a long time, so you guys know how I feel about. WrestleMania tier dragging on uh, for what seems like an eternity. We can get a perfect game here, hopefully we do, as long as he doesn't proc and pat, yeah, we're good. Perfect game. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's maybe why I haven't given it my best the last couple of weeks and haven't been getting all that content out there. Because maybe I could, you know, maybe I could spend less time binge watching Breaking Bad or, you know, just little things that I could definitely be spending more time doing this, but just not into it recently, you know, I want something new in the game and maybe that's, uh, like, yeah, lack of motivation is what I've got for Supercard right now I mean, I still enjoy the game because it's still Supercard and I I love Supercard, of course I love Supercard, but yeah we want something new anyway, um, what, what should we do? Should we get into one more game or should we... what should we do? Right, we, what we still have is this Mae Young. Wow, this Mae Young is going to drag on for a long time. Completely forgot I still had her uh, until like two minutes ago, and I was just like, what can we do with Mae Young? That's what I've got left. Um, I have got no games played with her whatsoever, so it will take some time to get her pro. Definitely will take some time, but we'll get it done eventually. We'll, we'll, we will. We'll get it done eventually. Um, I'm really looking for... Well, we're going to get what? Well, this Mae Young in here. We're going to get the Rock in here deck is just going to get even more solid, it really, really is, um, if, yeah, it's, it's good. When Undertaker is my worst card, if and when Undertaker becomes my worst card in my deck, I'm going to stop to a new update or a new season or something. I, that's literally it, I, I'm announcing it to you guys now, okay, so Rock is going to take one of these gaps, and then, 
Yeah. <laughs> if it, I hope there's not another event card. Hopefully not. Let's get into one more game, guys. As I said, haven't been uh, uploading much. I want to get some content out there. Let's get some gameplay. But we have hit, we have hit the the max cut. So what I'm going to do now, guys, after I finish recording this video, and this might not seem productive to you guys, um, but I'm actually just going to grind some tap mania. I've been really enjoying tap mania, and I know. Um, the lifespan of the game, you know, the potential of the game, it, it all depends, but it, it, I don't, I don't think it can last. I don't think they can make that game fun and interesting for a long, long time, because at the end of the day, it's just a clicking game. Um, you can, some, you, some can say the same about Supercar, but look at the definition, it's not a clicking game, Supercar, it's more, it is obviously more than that, Supercard. Uh, but yeah. If whoever makes it, Sonic, I think that might be completely wrong. I have no idea who makes it. Um, whoever, hopefully they can keep it, you know, interesting for a long time because I am enjoying it right now, enjoying it quite a bit actually, more than I thought when I first heard of this clicking game coming out about WWE. Booker T is actually better than May. Wow, that is that is not cool for May. But yeah, guys, we're gonna leave it at that. Actually, no, you know what? I said I was gonna play another game of Ring Dom. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, what can we talk about? What we can talk about, it's Saturday going into Sunday, I believe, or Sunday going into Monday. No, no, it's about to be, it's about to be Sunday. It's Saturday night right now, okay. Yeah, yeah, just, which means Monday night raw soon, okay. So yeah, I have nothing, nothing to talk about that. Kind of mentioned briefly what I thought about uh, Raw and Smackdown, I think, in, uh, in one of my past videos, if not, um, I thought Raw was boring as hell, like really, really bad episode of Raw, um, that, you know, three quarters of the SummerSlam main event, like in the middle of the show, oh, I, I mean, I was half asleep watching Raw because, you know, it's like 4am here, 3am, 4am, it's late and I'm tired after a day, well, you know, and all I want is to sleep, but you know, I'm loyal, I want to watch WWE, I want to watch it live, um, you know, I could definitely watch it on replay or the next day but I you know I struggle not to spoil it for myself and I do like it you know watching it live so yeah I mean it's you know it's my own fault but anyway I was half asleep watching it and watching that main event ugh, I mean main event was decent you know but as soon as I found out that was not even the end of the show there was like another hour I was like what um, and then the main event big cast big show what was that all about what it was why is that your main event what it was boring. It was a boring, 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 boring episode of Monday Night Raw. So yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And SmackDown, well, SmackDown was pretty damn decent. I mean, it wasn't anything exceptional, um, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was just a good episode of SmackDown. Um, if all the episodes were like that, well, I wouldn't. Well, we could still complain because we'd want a little bit better from time to time, but. It's not awful, you know, it really wasn't. Uh, I enjoyed the Nakamura Cena match. Uh, Nakamura went over clean, clean he went over. Surprised me a little bit. I really thought they were gonna go with the John Cena, you know, cover star of SummerSlam 2017. John Cena, you know, try and, try and hype that match up. 17 time world champion, but no, Nakamura won. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, we got a shard there, by the way, just uh, you know, showing the rock. But yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about Nakamura. Jinder Mahal, it's going to be, yeah, I don't know, it's just, I'm not sure how I feel about that match. I'm not sure if I'm really looking forward to it. And if I'm not sure I'm looking forward to it, then clearly means I'm not looking forward to it, you know? So, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I think, I think, it, they might be saving AJ Nakamura for another day, but I'd have loved to see Nakamura AJ for SummerSlam and uh, Jinder Mahal maybe... Maybe versus Cena. Um, I mean, Kevin Owens would be would be good, but obviously he's in the Intercontinental. Uh, mid, not Intercontinental. You, you, United States, like mid card right now, which I think is a shame. He definitely could be back up there. Um, or AJ. You know, you have AJ. AJ Jinder could be. Pretty, you know, AJ always gets the best out of his out of his opponents because well, he's such a good wrestler. He makes the others shine. Um, that's just how damn good he is. You know, he, he's not. He doesn't make other people look weak when he's wrestling them, you know, he makes them shine, and himself, obviously, but, yeah, that's what that's what's great about AJ. So, yeah, I would have almost preferred to have that, you know, you have AJ versus maybe Jinder, and then you could have, I don't know, 
Cena versus Nakamura at SummerSlam instead of having it on SmackDown. That could have been cool. I don't know. Just just ideas here, but I'm not sure that made like the big SmackDown main event Nakamura. But anyway, that's that's you know. I enjoyed SmackDown. That's pretty much all I have to say. We're gonna finish off this game. I played another game than I wanted to, but you know we lost it. So that's because I'm bad. That's super good. <laughs> Let's get our let's get our picks. Hopefully we can get another shard. That'd be pretty good. My shard luck was very good on Stone Cold. It was pretty good on Booker T. I have to say it was really good on Booker T. Actually, and the Rock's just been yeah, just okay. It hasn't been awful shard luck since through the big you know until the uh, from from the beginning of this art of Ringdom. Hopefully it's the same uh, when I try and get back down for Undertaker. Hopefully the shard's on my side. That's pretty good. I like it. I like when you have your when shard luck is in because when you do not have the luck of the shards on your side, going down to the last one all the time is a pain in the ass. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That is gonna wrap it up there. Uh, stories of my pain and suffering. Uh, stories, well, what you know, a little review on Raw and SmackDown. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And I didn't ramble on for too much. If you did enjoy it, do drop a like on this video. If you guys want to see some tap main, you do let me know down below in the comments. I do want to get some tap main videos out there. If you guys want to watch them, if you want, if you want them, then let me know. Uh, yeah, S follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So then take care. Most importantly, peace out.